Well, 2025, probably through, what is it? Technically 2029 is going to be very, very interesting. And we're probably not going to see um, any, it depends what goes on on the next election. It's probably going to be 2030, 2031 before um, if anything goes wrong, we can correct it. And that's to say if we can correct it. But I'm not. People voted for what they want. I've always said one person, one vote. I may not like the end result. I didn't vote for either candidate. Um, Because that's another. Th I could get into that and I'm not going to get too deeply political. This one's really just to how how to help anyone. I know that uh, I've had two people come to me and start asking me about tariffs. They start text uh, going, what do you mean that Trump uh, wanted national sales tax? So they're, they're all of a sudden aware of what this new um, administration is going for. And I basically had to explain it to them the tariffs you are in the end going to pay on the cost of the item on the shelf because the country that either has to pay more to get it to us is going to jack up the prices for our companies to buy it and supply it so our company's paying more for it put it on the shelf at an even higher price because that's how they make money um, and same, and then the other twofold part of that is the whole um, national sales tax that was mentioned. That means that not only are you going to pay more for the item on the shelf, you're going to have tax for the federal government on the item. With that tax, I mean, so you, you're talking about an item that cost normally, let's say, $20. And let's say they have to put it up to like 28 bucks because the whole tariff and stuff. You're not paying tax on 20 bucks. You're paying taxes now on $28. So it just snowballs the what's happening. I'm getting to the point now. You can prep yourself right now before, I'd say before January. I would kind of try to do it before mid-December. Just make sure it's done because I'm sure more companies are beginning to order and they're probably beginning to buffer their costs because some of them are figuring out, oh my gosh, this tariff that, that tariff this, blah, blah, blah. So what I did or what I'm doing is I'm buying all my shampoo for a year, all my conditioner for a year, all my body wash, all my dish soap, all my laundry soap. I'm buying everything that I possibly can. A whole year supply with. And I'm not hoarding because I probably have like, I buy like eight bottles of shampoo out, out of the year and stuff like that. I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm alleviating the immediate inflation of tariffs and of the national sales tax so I'm buying it now so that way I'm locking in for you know the next few years I, I will see depends what goals on I might even uh, squeeze it in and see if I can go two three years supply of some of the stuff and that way I can uh, just concentrate on food food mortgage electric and I have to have internet so those three things, you know, food and car, car insurance. I mean, I, I was going to buy a new car in 2027, but not with the tariffs, not with the national sales tax. Nope, 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 nope. Not going to happen. I mean, I have a 2014. I actually have a Kia Soul. So they're trying to steal it every other week that I, I get neighbors knocking on my door your lights are on. Somebody went in my car and tried to steal it again. I mean, it's been upgraded, the, the software. So, in theory, they're not supposed to be able to steal it so far. I'm not saying they can't. I, I'm, not, I'm not ruling out that they can't steal it. Because 
you know, they made it so easy. But but I would I would encourage anyone that has um if they're tight on funds and but you do have just a tad bit extra, I wouldn't I I would say maybe buy 6 months ahead. That way you get a you get a feel for what the new inflation is going to be with tariffs and what the new um Inflation will be if they do the national sales tax. I think it'll probably, the national sales tax, I would assume it might take about two years. And I'm not even going to say because I heard rumor that if the national sales tax happens, they're going to get rid of uh, income tax, which means bye bye Social Security. I'm just going to let you know. I, I had someone. Uh, tell me, well, you know, if they're trying to get rid of Social Security, the government's going to step in. And all I could do is look at them and say, but if they are the government, they're not going to step in. So it will be gone. Social Security will be gone if they decide to. And I don't think they're going to be paying us back all the money that, uh, you know, Reagan stole from it and never paid back. Oh, we borrowed it. Nope. At this point in time, y'all stole it because you haven't paid it back. If you paid it back, then you borrowed it, but you haven't paid it back. Right now, you know, there's a lot of people that have are already dead that are owed money from Social Security from, you know, getting paid less and cutting benefits and stuff. I, I could go on, but I'm not going to, you know, I like I said, I'm not keeping, I'm not trying to be too political on this. It's just very fascinating that I'm getting more questions about these policies after the fact, and I don't know who else is. Um, you can even check the most Googled things. You like my dog, Fiona Claire? She was a stray. The neighbor found. Now I have a stray. She's being trained as a service dog, too. My spoiled brat. But... Everyone, you have a wonderful night. Um, let me know. I'm I'm just started trading stocks, and I also have some philosophies that I would that I'm I'm actually putting in motion. But I don't have a lot of extra money, so somebody else might that is a little more affluent, or someone that's already trading might go, hey, you might want to try this instead. But I, I'm working on something that maybe can give. Uh, education on how to invest because I think to get out of this might be invest all right I'm out of here because my dog's telling me girl